Hello, this is Mike MacGyver, and we're down here at MacGyver's Tire and Wheel. Got a little bit done this week. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with the old Dodge. Got the wheels on the Dodge. How about that? Does that look any better? Shucks. Uh... I wound up breaking another wheel while I was messing with it, so uh, they, uh, I had to fix it the same way. And uh, this back right, back right there, the uh, right rear, that was the first one that broke. And the left front, so they're a little wobbly. Yeah, the truck's a little wobbly, but. It ain't going to matter when it's sitting on a rack, not rolling around. Ain't nobody going to notice. Uh, I got a little bit, a tiny bit of the green left from painting the that green trailer for the O'Reilly's race trailer. So maybe I'll be able to touch up that one day. I uh, think I'm going to change the tires on there, too. I think he's got some red lines on them or faded out red line on the front one. And so, yeah, I'm probably going to work on it some more, but I just wanted to show that I've got the rims on it. Uh, this here rim on the front, it didn't quite get centered back on there, so that's why it's uh, kind of up and down. Up, If you'll notice, it's kind of bouncy. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what we did with that one. And also, I put stem spacers on here because... The rims that's on it now don't have a uh, stem, very much of a stem. And the rims that came on the truck had a lot of stem. So there was a lot of space in there. And if I'd have just put them on there without the stems, the tires would have been way up under the fenders. So I put stems. I sacrificed a set of stock wheels that was uh, M2 wheels and uh, used the stems from them. So that give it the uh, right sp proper space on the front. Uh, the chrome chrome grills turning my camera dim. So yeah, I think uh, you know what? I got the wrong tire on the right front. I mean, left front looks like. Uh, I think I got the wrong tire on there. Eh, maybe not. Just looks like in the in the camera there. It looks like the left front tire is a little bit narrower than the right front. But I had to check it out a little more later on. I got time. But anyway, that's that one, and we're gonna put it up there out the way, somewhere out the way where it won't fall maybe. And uh, up next, I worked on the barn fine put some wheels on it and put a base on it. I also put an interior in it. I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. Well, we're going to try to design a front bumper thing, you know, and grill on headlights and all that. Or if we're just going to make this just a demolition derby, but it's got some Mercedes seats and interior in it from those Mercedes that I built the limo out of, you know, I had the extra interiors and stuff. And these here rear wheels, they came off of that diesel truck that I, uh, that diesel truck trailer that I cut half in two and narrowed it and, and uh, redesigned it and put diesel wheels on it, tandem wheels instead of uh, the single wheels. So that these wheels was laying around and, and I've just seen them and I said, hey, them looks like they'd be about right for this. So. I put them on there, and the, the front wheels come out of the tire jar from Mr. Hewitt's wheels. So, yeah, uh, I didn't do no paint job into it, but it's it's got a screw in the front. So I made the base out of a M2 plate, and it's, you know, I cut the hole in the back back here for the little clip on the body to fit in, and uh this axle was real long on the back so i bent it i bent it and all you know made a loop out of it so 
That's why the JB Weld's kind of way back here to the back instead of just straight across. And so that's uh, what we did there. And like I said, this base would come apart. I could eat, you know, could I take it out, uh, you know, take the base off and, you know, paint it, paint the car if I want to. But I don't know. I might send this old Charles over there. Let him uh, have some fun with it. But anyway, it's, uh, that's what we do with that. And we're just going to park it over here since they're not, not so big over here out the way. All right. And uh, up next, I finally got the bone shaker done. How about that? Yeah, it's this had them old white wall tires on it, white wheels and everything. Well, I took the wheels that was on the bone shaker, and I put them on, well, first of all, we I think I, I like this bone shaker the way it looks now. It's so much better. Much better looking. So anyway, that's that one. Got that done. And the wheels that were on the bone shaker, we put them on this. How about that? And I also took that white jelly roll that Paladin sent me, and I went ahead and white spoke the wheels to match the rest of the wheels. But anyway, that's uh, what we did with that one. And... uh. The front wheels that were on this, I didn't use them on nothing. Uh, no, I'll take it back. I put them on this uh, on the back of this other one here. Okay, we're gonna move this out the way over here, out the way. I put the rear wheel, the front wheels from that that one on the back of this one because I robbed the rear wheels off of this one, but not the front wheels. So uh, that's just a little old soapbox derby looking car there with skinny wheels so got that done got them back together anyway and let's see i robbed the wheels from the back of this thing on this trailer i i, I got it on the trailer because it's in pieces now this whole thing here, I robbed the rear wheels off of it. And I also already cut the blower off of it. Yeah. Get the blower off of it. And this, uh, this piece here, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to cut it in, in two, get rid of that little ball, and put the, bring the two pieces together. And then I'm going to put the, put this, uh, blower back on top of it once i do that it'll be a good good looking little old engine for what i have no idea I might build me another race car but anyway it's like i said it's in pieces now i didn't take the front wheels off of it yet but uh this is junk i don't even think cat in a hat would want it for parts so it's probably just gonna go in the trash but anyway, I'm going to set this over here kind of out the way. and Hopefully, it don't fall off. Uh, I robbed the wheels off of this, but I didn't use them on nothing yet. They back here in the background, standing up right over here next to the dumpster. But anyway, I picked it up for the wheels. Here, let me show you the wheels. I'll use these on something one day. Anyhow, I got them, and this th this truck here, I worked on it too. Uh, you know, I then took the frame off, and I cut all the fender pieces out of the frame because there was not enough space, you know, to put wheels. You know, unless there was some real skinny wheels, so I, I cut all the fenders off the frame. And uh, I hadn't made up my mind what way I'm going to fix this truck. So I'm gonna, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this truck. Let me see something here. Should I make this truck low rider? You know, stock looking? 
like that or should I let me see something here or should I make it look like a four by four what you think four by four or stock that's the question let me see something here and back up a little bit wasn't quite fully in the picture but anyway that's uh this is another this, this base on this one i made out of an m2 plate so we're gonna lift the truck back up i made this base out of an m2 plate and then i had another one of them old character cars that i had scrapped and I saved these here chrome pieces from it. They're axle holders. And they still had the wheels in it. These wheels were red. So I took the Paladin pin, the Jelly Roll pin, and I whitened them up. And I mounted them on the plate. Got a little piece in here I put on there to keep the frame straight on the truck. Got one on the back. And the truck just sitting on it, you know, and, uh, well, let's see. We'll sit it back on it. So, yeah, it just sits on it right now, and it locks in. And I got, I, I got a little hole right here, and I can put a screw through it into the interior, which is JB welded in permanently. And uh, all there, so, yeah. So, anyway, that's the four-wheel drive one. And if I decide to use it as a two-wheel drive, I'll be able to put the screws back in it that originally came in it on the base. There's what the base looks like after I cut away the fenders. And there. So anyway, what y'all think? Should we stay with the uh, low riding or should it be four-wheel drive? That's the question. Uh, maybe I'll leave it loose and I can, you know, display it either way. Something, you know, change it every now and then or something. But anyway, before we get out of here, I'm almost done. Let's see. Uh, it's going to put it back on the four wheel drive base and check it out. This is the green light that I had built. And here's the back end of it. It's the same, basically the same level. Yes, indeed. Put the front end around here, and we'll put the front end around here. Well, it's trying to come apart on me when I'm turning it. But anyway, how about that? Yeah. So anyway, that's about it there. Uh, got one more thing I did. I looked at this Bronco. You know, it was all kind of wonky looking and everything. The last time I showed it, I rewatched my video and noticed all that. Well, I took it back apart, and this roll cage was, uh, the left leg was jammed completely through the floor. So uh, I took the roll cage loose and re-JB welded it on there and got it a little bit straighter. And I had noticed that the body looked like it wasn't square with the fender, so uh, I got to looking at it, and I think I had put it back together in, in a hurry and didn't get it straight. We got it a little bit better looking there. The old front bumper, uh, I think I kind of bent that thing out. So I didn't notice that. Uh to work on that again. Got the bumper straight on the truck, but that looks like that uh, push bar done got bent. I might just take the push bar off and do away with it all together. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's that. So that's about it. For my wheel swapping's going on. Yes, indeed. Oh, and the wheels that I uh, put on this, they came off of the back of this. And uh, let's see. That's what I, have. I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, well. I, I get sidetracked and forget. Anyway, I got to get out of here. My time's up. I want to thank everybody for watching. 
This is Mike McGabber, and I'm gone.